What's up, guys? It is Monday, Memorial Day. I'm heading to the garage. I'm going to try to figure out what this whistling noise is today. Um, I have no idea what it is, but it's got to be one of three things. The idle air control valve... Um, or the gasket on the idle air control valve the throttle body Gasket which I'm changing or the plenum gasket, which is the gasket that's in front of the intake manifold That separates those two pieces. So I'm going to start with the easy one first, which is the throttle body gasket then I'll do the What I really think it is honestly is the idle air control valve. I really think that's it so I might put my old one on. I just have to drill out the rusted screw. So I don't know. We'll see when we get there. And we are at the garage. So I got today another idle air control valve gasket and my hybrid racing throttle body gasket. So when I left the house, I was like, damn, man, I'm forgetting something. What the hell am I forgetting? And I forgot my pliers to cut this. I left it at the house in my backpack because I was cutting zip ties. So I came to, to the garage to get it. So I'm going to try to cut this with a blade. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to see. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this anyways. So I'm going to take out. Take out. I'm going to take out the throttle body gasket, put this one on, start the car, see if it whistles. So let's try that. Okay, so I was able to cut it out with a blade. I sanded it inside just a little bit so it's smooth. Make sure nothing is really sticking out that wind can cause an issue with, or air I should say. All right. See how it goes. Wish me luck. Okay, so I want you guys to see the difference here in the gaskets. So, everything lines up. This mouth is obviously bigger. Um, on the intake manifold, this piece was blocking some of the air that was going from the IAC through. So who knows, maybe this could be the problem. I really don't know. We'll see. I can't see it being the issue, but anything is possible. So I want to see how this new gasket is. Yeah, this new gasket doesn't cover any. Hey, don't fall down there. What are you doing? Okay, I'm actually going to get the camera. Hold on. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see, try to get a good angle there. This piece here doesn't cover the entire, uh, doesn't cover any of the hole. And the original gasket, uh, let me turn around. The original gasket from Skunk 2, okay, as you can see there, covers part of the hole right here. So you watch, let's come on, focus. 
All right, so if I slide this over, see the mouth of the lip right there? I don't know how well you can see it, but when it lines up, it covers part of this opening. This one does not. And this one also doesn't cover any of the opening there. All right, so we'll see. See if this is the issue. Let me put this on. Fingers crossed. That was it. Holy shit. I thought it was gonna take me a lot longer than that. Oh, um, am I allowed to say that word? And it didn't whistle. It didn't whistle. Like, I'm so surprised. I knew it. I told Skunk 2. I told Skunk 2. I said, if this covers part of that flow for the idle air control valve, is it gonna give me an issue? They said no. They said it's not going to cause an issue. Well, it didn't really cause an issue. It just caused a loud whistling noise. So what I think was the air was trying to get through and it was whistling off of this. So I'm going to let the car run for a few minutes because this is what happened last time on a cold start. It didn't whistle. Um, and then after letting it warm up is when it started to whistle. Um, so, But also the IAC revved it, or should I say the throttle body revved it when the IAC turned on and it whistled after that so i'm gonna let it run for a few minutes even though it's running like shit right now and i'm gonna see if it whistles so i'll get back to you all right so she's idling uh, a little high that's because we still have to do a tune uh have to adjust the throttle body a little bit um but other than that she's idling really well uh what else is going on right now she's warming up show you here No throttle body, uh, check engine light, or should I say idle air control valve check engine light that I had before. So that's good. And uh, right now that's really what's going on. So hey, this is a short video, I was able to figure it out. So for future reference, when you guys get a Skunk 2 intake manifold and throttle body, I suggest you upgrade to the hybrid racing throttle body gasket where this opening is a lot bigger. Um, the reason why I think this opening was causing the issue is because of uh, basically what I had said. The air, the whistle through the intake manifold was like squeezing a balloon. That's what Sergio had referenced it as. And because it was like, I gotta get out of this garage for a second because it smells. So because, uh, like he said, um, it's like trying to squeeze air through a balloon but squeezing the end of it this was blocking some of the airflow so I guess it was just blocking enough for the air to start whistling through it and uh, 
that seems to be the issue. So I'm pretty happy about that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I was able to figure it out. Very simple, four bolts, change the gasket, put it back on, started her up. She's good to go. So uh, next thing uh, tomorrow, because today's Memorial Day, I actually got my, uh, my red, white, and blue t-shirt on so I'm happy about that and uh, there goes the fans as you can hear they're very loud warm-up temp is good everything is good uh, so next step is tomorrow Sergio is gonna come here we're gonna mess with the tune and then we're gonna take it to Yo Solo or at least I'm gonna schedule a trip to Yo Solo and get it tuned we're gonna tow it there so that will be the next video after the next, well, that's going to be the second video after the next video. Um, so I'm just going to mess around here in a little, for a little bit. Um, that's really it guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate everybody trying to help me figure it out. Everybody thought it was a vacuum leak or air leak and it had nothing to do with it. It just had to do with the airflow not flowing through the IAC correctly. Thank God, because that IAC is brand new, and it was like 300 bucks from Honda. So, uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, leave a comment below if you have the same issue, if you know someone who has the same issue, and uh, show them this video. Maybe it'll help them out. Thanks, guys. Peace.